this is ugly creation you're looking I'm looking at you might ask um, well this is just me testing a new connection for docking which is my primary goal to achieve right now docking without ships breaking apart and for this exercise I have downloaded the module mod well I have that on my space station as well but I've tested to put putting a, if putting the mo uh, the capsule on uh, how so to speak uh, backwards and using the legs on the capsule that way if the ship breaks at least the capsule will stay on the station the document were hard to get down without any engines but um, I'll try I'm gonna try to solve things as they come so this is my machine I built two identical and let's uh, just switch to this one and I'm gonna show you the this is the docking version docking process oops sorry didn't mean to push you away and break and then close and it grips I was kinda unsure because I thought that these capsule might have a you know a cylindrical cylindrical uh, collision mech or you know, collision ah oh, whatever it's called collision well the invisible thing that determines when the collision happens instead of a conical or yeah cone like shape but it seems it it's actually quite cone like so I'm gonna show you how it works okay let's try to drive around let's pull this like a train and try to sever the connection seems to be holding on quite well I don't want to flip these but I will if I have to Oops. and this I mean this is quite a lot whoops quite a lot of force going through these shafts and let's do a heavy braking okay no didn't lose any grip there gonna you know try to run these over a few hills and stuff like that so that's my way of testing a new design here on the surface of carbon instead of up in outer space I did it with this with the last one too but uh, I didn't test it quite as this rough and I said it might break apart, but at least then the ship will, the, the docking ship will at least, the working part will at least stay on the, on the attached. So that's my next goal. All right, now that I've tested it and it's all fine and dandy, uh, I will. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna build this again. Um, from the start but with only the real capsule and of course I'm going to place it upside down and the question is first of all before I start you know trying things uh, very strange things out too much I'm gonna make it to do a flight test of course I will want I'm gonna s no ah, that's 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 gonna be fine do want an SAS I guess I don't know if the controls invert or something <laughs> when you make an inverter rocket it looks kind of weird but hey if it works no one's happier than I am so let's just make it very 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 easy bar rocket rocket uh, I want the gimbal gimbaling engine like that and uh, Stabilizers. Hmm, that should be fine. Oof, almost forgot. I do want to be able to return my poor Kerbal to Kerbin when I'm done, so let's just put a few, uh, these on. Let's go for two and place them fairly low so I have room for my legs here. Let's just see how it would work. It's like Like 
so. Come on. Let's try with fewer legs. Yes, I can place them. And we'll go for maximum legs again because I want to have as much structural rigidity as I can possibly can. place them here. <laughs> this is a laborious process of trying to find exactly where it will stick. It's Oops. Wrong direction. Parachute that's in the way? No, shouldn't be. Why can't I stick them on? It worked so well with the fake pods. Why can't it work now? Oh well. Okay, you just missed it. I managed to stick them on. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but um, looks like it could work. Of course, the real rocket, I will have to have quite a few supports. Okay, this will make navigation quite weird because uh, as it is now, its points will invert everything, it seems. Let's launch. Okay. Something is not very going well here. Okay, this is making a very uh, the ship very hard to control. Very hard indeed. Okay, no, nope, let's abort this. Kill the power. the legs work, so I guess the upside down pod isn't a very good idea. Oh well. <laughs> Who could have known? Okay, time for another trial and error. As you can see I have put these on top to hopefully allow for steering. But this makes it a much more narrower narrow connection. I want to see just how it interacts when I when I push it over an ordinary pod. I'm guessing lots of glitching and wobbling and flying about probably will break the game or something. We'll see. Okay, let's get close and close it. Yes, as I suspected, that won't work. Okay, now I have my next iteration, which is fewer legs, which will probably result in a much weaker connection, and uh, placing them further down, so it will just grip just at the base, so we'll just have to see if this can work, and if we can achieve a grip, then we will First of all, we have to be really close. No more of these clumsy rendezvousing I've been doing. To be really close and really precise. Oops, some clipping there. And let's close it. Let's see what happens. Nice. That 
this actually a grip? Hmm. Of course, there are no struts here. Hmm. That is of no importance. Let's just drive away and see what happens. Of course. Okay, yeah. I definitely have a connection here. This might be the design I'm going for. Okay, here I have the design I'm going to try. As you can see, it's quite heavily reinforced. I don't know if that will affect the frame rate. I'm certain there will be no stability issues here during flight. What I'm interested in is, is, in is seeing how this, uh, if this actually holds on. Because I know the connection between the advanced SAS unit and everything else is weaker than most everything else. Because this has an uh, impact tolerance of 9 and as you can see that this has an impact tolerance of 20 the RCS fuel tank and uh, I'm not sure what this has a, uh, what impact tolerance this that has maybe 45 I guess something like that mm. and this has an impact tolerance of 14 so pretty much everything is more impact tolerant than the advanced SAS except the normal SAS and the Mechia and stuff like that but I'm going to be flying this up to orbit and uh, I'm going to I'm trying to avoid using Mechia at all right now so I will be flying this manually and let's rename this KSS oh, 4 4 is IV I guess so this monster will hopefully be the vessel I'm docking to. Okay, here we are in flight. We have dumped the outer stage. It's tumbling towards carbon. Or maybe it has already disintegrated against the surface. Now we are just uh, raising our apoapsis nice orbit. I still have the KSS 3 in orbit, so I'm gonna ditch that once this is in place, because I don't want more more than one orb, uh, more than one equatorial orbit to just to because it clutters the interface, basically. So, yeah. Okay, this is uh, very circular orbit. As you can see, just two six one seven twelve something two six one seven seven within a hundred meters or almost within fifty fifty sixty meters circular. Let's just see two six seven oh four two six eight oh nine oh one. Okay, um, within a hundred meters at least. So I'm happy with that. So let's just switch to see, is that debris heading down? I hope it is. Let's switch to it. And we have a... Uh, yes. Let's hope this gets caught up in the atmosphere. Let's just check that it is so. 50... Oh, there we go. Now it should be, this should be decreasing. Um, so let's go to KSS3 and deorbit it. Hey, where is everyone else? Hmm. Melfrey and Merman. Why isn't Melfrey showing up? There he is. It's a weird bug. Anyway, let's deorbit this little darling. Serves as well. As you can see, it, it almost has the same design. <laughs> just shift these two. I didn't think of. I just thought that the slope of this capsule might aid in the landing gear grappling hook actually catching on. 
I didn't think of using this in the first place. Space Center and launch our updated Docker. Wait, didn't I update the Docker? I do hope I saved it. No. Okay, as you can see here, I have modified my previous Docker 3. Oh, wait, almost modified it well enough. I'm going to add two RCS tags because I like to be able to be wasteful. I did some rethinking and I realized that I could basically. Oh, hang on. It's just like this, add these, no, can't add them there, hmm, that's a shame, okay, let's add these here, and here, take these away, so, um, in this phase I can actually dump this whole stage, reduce the weight, lose the SAS and just keep the parachutes and the RCS tanks and the capsule. So hopefully this will really shed some of the torque of the, of the docking maneuver. Docker IV or four Roman numbers. So let's try to get this Darling into space. I'm going to going to remove these as well. Uh, and I think uh, I think it has enough fuel as it is. Yes, it should have it. See you in space. Okay, we are in space with some fuel to spare. I think I made a cheaper rocket is nice when budget comes into play. 61781, 61785. Okay. Those are basically touching. So I'm gonna time accelerate until I get to my apoapsis and I'm gonna burn no yes I'm gonna burn until I barely raise my apoapsis or uh, periapsis above the horizon if I have enough fuel for that stage and then I'm going to ditch this stage so not to leave any space to debris in space okay let's burn I don't care too much about if my orbit goes haywire okay oops there we go maybe a little more okay I guess this is technically using the fuel bug, but hey, here we go, let's burn for dear life so we can raise this, oh, I think we have plenty of time, <laughs> and this is an efficient motor or engine, I heard some people are particular about what we'll use, but you can use both, motor and engine a rocket engine. Okay, that's raising too high. I want to lower that. More. Is it sinking? Is this growing? And there we are. Six, seven, nine. And let's see, we are behind, so that's I'm just going to go to my 
periapsis and lower it slightly. We are pretty close already. And this is a nice maneuverable rocket right now. Okay. Oops, SAS off. Line. Gen just. I'm going to use the RCS actually. There we go. One more. Something like that. Yes. RCS off. Of course, what's left to do is a plane change maneuver, which I'm going to do fairly quickly. I'm going to. I'm getting better and faster at this, although the videos seem to be <laughs> just as long. Let's see, I'm above right now. I'm going to race along here till I'm. Oops, down below. It's quite a uneven, but I hope it makes spotting the crossing point easier. Hang on, am I in a higher orbit? Six, seven, seven, six, five. No, I should be lower. Six. 261, 263, oh, I'm higher, I'm actually, the distance is increasing. Hmm. I'm going to use that as my marker, because that's almost perfectly circular, at least last time I checked. 26177, okay, so let's just warp to, what's this, my periapsis? Let's lower our apoapsis slightly. This doesn't jump around too much. This is at 05, so let's lower this to 67. 610, we are far above. I'm going to use the main engine now. And a very, very, very small. One seven oh five one six. Okay. One. Now let's just raise it ever so slightly with the RCS. And I want to get it up to one six one seven two six one seven two six one seven. There we are. And this is slightly lower, so that's good. And we're going to start catching up. Let's find where our orbits cross and do the plane change maneuver. Okay. Is it here? Oh, I think we passed it already. Oh, let's think. I'm going to run or raise it, so I'm going to point it due north and burn slightly, carefully. that is that okay no we can do better okay and there we are I guess that's fairly nice I think so hope so so let's just speed ahead and see if we close the distance which didn't take long there it is we are closing fast, which is nice. Oops. We are closing very fast. This is going to be a... Look at that. I'm actually going to... Okay, that's my periapsis. That's the lowest part. So I'm going to raise to the next... To the apoapsis. And I'm going to raise it so... The speed at which we close is actually not as so, so it doesn't go too fast. Okay, it's at two six one seven. Let's just raise it two six one two. Yeah, 
yes we are still under it I think let's check 17 16 15 14 15 yes we are closing let's just warp around for about a while okay we are now very close should be getting into visual distance was it 2.4 I don't want to go too fast okay here we are how much are, is the wobble okay I think this yellow marker shows the periapsis hope so almost that's my ap oh, apoapsis periapsis yes I'm gonna raise it slightly with my RCS This is slightly above, and this is slightly below. I doubt I'm going to get much better mo results, though. So let's just check that we are still closing. 7.6. Ooh, it's wobbling. Here it is, visual distance. Okay, we are. Oops to go okay it's now or never um, no actually we could we could increase our orbit slightly just so it seems to be going quite fast yes if we increase our orbit slightly we should get that down see us on again soon I hope 500 meters come on okay this is it let's see I have plenty of RCS fuel I'm gonna dump this stage we'll have to remain in orbit like that okay I just forgot something I didn't put a I don't have an R uh, a hmm. I dumped both my <sighs> my SAS so I won't be keeping stable when I do these maneuvers that's gonna be tricky how to compensate so let's close the distance okay and let's go down as you can see it's not very balanced let's switch to the other ship no no way oh thank you <laughs> let's turn this where is oh there you are don't collide don't collide don't collide This is turning ugly fast. Where is it? There it is. RCS on. Let's just be ready for the moment. And do this carefully. Distance is. Oh, it's increasing. Let's speed up is it still increasing? no, it's closing now which is what we want let's close it a bit faster and let's get into a very very nice and close position without if we are very close and we can align them then hopefully this is a very nimble little aircraft right now or spacecraft okay 
say 50 meters and closing. Okay, now we don't even have a visual. Oops. Let's slow this down a bit. And let's get up a bit. And let's switch. Oh, god damn it. Let's turn this around like that. And turn it to face each other. Let that stabilize and switch. Let's go up. RCS on. RCS on. Let's close the gap. Let's close the gap. How are we? How are we? Heightwise. Oops. Wrong direction. <laughs> Like this. Oops. Hmm. Thing is, things start to tumble so fast. It's really hard. I think I almost have to wait for it. And the weight distribution change when I open the. It, this almost controls perfectly now. No turning at all when I shift sideways and up and down. That's lucky. I'm just gonna lie here in wait and wait for this to align itself. We are very close now. This is exciting. Okay, let's switch to it. And break. Oops. RC is on. Oh, I don't want to meet our collision just yet. <laughs> As you can see, it's things just tumbles and. The moment I switch to that one and stabilize it, it just this one starts to tumble instead. I'm just gonna try to go for it. Okay, no, I have to stabilize it. Stabilize it and switch again. Go down. Oh, RC is off. This tumbling makes it damn near impossible. <laughs> hmm. Just, I guess I just have to get lucky with the. stabilize this as it turns up here tumbles a lot more than okay stabilize 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 RCS on switch RCS on go 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 get down get down get down And grip it. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh no. Close but no cigar. Have to reorient myself. something we will have to fix in the next update otherwise I'm gonna be pissed
turn off traps and save you this. I'm, maybe I might edit this because this might take quite a while. Come on, come on, come on. No! Please, it's fuel efficient being this light, so I can do this all night. Unless, because, of course, I have to get up tomorrow and go to school which is not ideal for a space pilot, but hey. <sighs> for next update squad, please, better instrumentation and <coughs> make things so that they don't just spin out of control as soon as you release control. This is insane. is doing this to me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I thought it was with this 
was going to be a short video, but this might be the longest video ever because this damn rendezvousing takes forever because of the spinning mess. collision there. Let's switch back and RCS on and break. Go up, shift. <laughs> of course, getting impatient isn't helping either. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna give up until I do dock because it should really be possible now. No! Oh man. <laughs> Same problem as before. Well, <laughs> now I tore off a piece of the station instead. <sighs> this and this poor guy isn't going home. Well, I'll have to figure this out until they implement it, which I hope they do soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good night.